Bao Li and Ching Bao arrived from China on Tuesday, and the staff at the Smithsonian's National Zoo in Washington is feeling the excitement. Oh my gosh, it is beyond exciting for us to be able to welcome these two new giant pandas here to the zoo. Um, we have such a long history with the giant panda conservation program dating back to 1972, um, and we've made so many amazing headway um, in this area. To be able to welcome these two to open that new chapter is just very exciting for us. Dr. James Steele is chief panda veterinarian at the National Zoo. He traveled with the three-year-old pandas from China in a specially equipped FedEx cargo plane dubbed the Panda Express. I went about a week ahead of time um, to China and from there I got to learn a lot of the behaviors and um, how the both of those pandas worked with our Chinese colleagues um, and then I got to do visual health assessments on those pandas to then determine whether there were anything that I needed to be prepared for for the flight. The pandas made the journey in excellent health. Researchers here will study them as they age, gaining knowledge that will help conservation efforts. It's amazing. I got to go over there uh, for about 10 days before this pair came and try to get to know them. Already, their personalities are emerging. Qingdao is a little more reserved. Uh, she's definitely very cautious. She looks at her environment very carefully. Bao Li is very people-oriented. He loves to be around his keepers. They're a little bit opposite, but for this pair, you know, my hopes are just uh, hopefully someday they'll have their own cubs. For now, the two bears have only seen each other from a distance and will live apart in separate yards and indoor areas. Because pain is only ours like reproductively active for like two days a year so then they're strictly solitary from before that we we keep them all solitary except for the times of breeding a team of experts from china is here to help the bears settle in staff members say collaborations with colleagues from china are crucial it's a wonderful um, cooperative collaborative relationship that we have with our chinese counterparts the national zoo is bracing for big crowds but visitors will have to wait a little longer before they get a chance to see Bao Li and Ching Bao in person. They won't make their public debut until January. They need a few months to get acclimated before the crowds arrive. Meantime, zookeepers are improving the panda habitat and working to enhance the experience for visitors. We weren't sure when or if pandas were coming back, and so to be able to turn that around in less than a year and get them back here is exciting, not just for us here, but people all across the D.C. area and across the world. Very memorable. I think it, it creates a lifetime memory. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.